Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. Three, two. So Vogue announced that their new fall patterns were on the site. So let's take a look and see what we've got in store from Vogue. All right, this first one is a Julio Cesar Mrs. Jacket. And I think that this designer is known for all of these different appliques. I, I feel like I remember seeing a bunch of appliques from him in the past. Um, the shape of this coat, I absolutely adore. I think that is so cute. Uh, all the appliques, though, I'm not necessarily sure that I need like a crow on my jacket. I've never made one of these or even really looked at the pattern, so I'm not sure if you can make the jacket without any of this extra embellishment. But the jacket shape, like I said, is super, super cute. So I, I imagine, because this is all so intricate with all of these little like hashes, that these are all appliqued on top, similar to how you would do applique on a quilt. Um, and just like top stitched on kind of like bias tape is what I'm seeing here. And then this is machine appliqued on like with a zigzag stitch. And then this might be hand embroidery possibly, or like some kind of trim, like rope shaped trim. So yeah, I think that you could leave all of that off and just make a plain jacket, or I kind of don't hate the jacket with all this stuff and just not our little bird friend or the heart rate monitor. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, but I don't know. Then if you do that, then is it kind of silly? I don't know. Maybe not. It could still be fine if you don't go all in on the embellishment. I'm actually kind of liking the heart rate monitor now from far away. I don't know. I think I just love the shape of it so much. Let's see what it asks for um, garment, I mean, yardage wise. So yeah, jacketing. So jacquard, brocade, shantung, and then your lining fabrics. And then four buttons and one skein of yarn. So this is all yarn that is machine stitched on. And then it looks like you make the jacket out of this yardage. And then this is all bias strips or all, I don't even know if they're on the bias. Maybe they're just like straight strips um, for all of the little hash lines. Or is that for the bird? That might be for the bird. Okay, contrast two and three might be for all the hash lines. It's hard to say. You'd have to, um, just from looking at this, it's hard to say. You'd have to, uh, one, two, three, four. So, oh, because there's different fabrics. Oh, it gets so complicated with all of this. But four is the bird, and then one through three are the different colors of hash lines. So, anyways. That's that, and then here's what you need for your lining. And then you'll need some interfacing. So yeah, kind of a lot going on, considering it's just a simple little jacket. They give you the back length for finished measurements, and that is all. So, cute little shaped jacket, I love that. Okay, here's a fun little trench from Guy La Roche. Pretty traditional trench, I'm loving this, like really wide belt, uh, Oh shoot, what are those called? Oh, the name's falling out of my head. The same thing that you would call them on jeans. Oh, it's too early in the morning. <laughs> um, and then this like fun detail, that's real cute. Different, you know, just a little bit more 
fashion-y, I guess. Look at this. This is a traditional element to a uh, trench coat, but they have exaggerated it by pulling it away from the body a lot and adding in these little darts. And then you've got this really nice vent in the back too. Very nice. Line coat and belt have side seam pockets, front and back yoke, sleeve band, collar, belt carriers, belt carriers, that's what they're called, <laughs> back bent and stitched hems. Um, here's the line art. See, it's like a little bit, this gives me a nod to like, <clears throat> like a militant, military kind of vibe. Of course, it's double breasted and also has some seaming details on this sleeve here. Kind of a lot going on, but really nice. Okay, so gabardine, denim, and raincoat fabric. And then fusible interfacing. So it's unlined also. And you just need your buttons for here. No buttons on the sleeve even. There's uh, this one flat button is the one that goes underneath this thing here. And then, yeah, kind of a lot of yardage, but it is a, you know, past knee length midi coat. And then finished garment measurements, the lower edge, coat and belt, lower edge. I don't even know what that means. So it's just the bottom width and the length of the whole coat. I don't know why they're separating it into coat and belt. It does come in the alphanumeric sizing. Raincoat fabric is very interesting concept for this. I'll have to look into that um, and kind of give you guys like a follow up. I have ordered raincoat fabric before. I've actually made a raincoat. It's more like a rain poncho. Um, since been donated because I didn't do a great job with it. I didn't really like it in the end. The color was weird. I did some contrast stitching, which was a bad idea. But if I decide to make this again, obviously I'll give you guys all the info I have on where to source that fabric and stuff. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, which is why I'm not just telling you now. It's like woodland fabric or wood something. All right, here's another coat wow this one has an asymmetrical like handkerchief hem really is what it is double breasted a lot of pretty seaming here nice big collar this feels very like 1800s right this little banding detail is interesting Yeah, it's really cute, and I know that people are going to make some really beautiful versions of it. I just don't know that it's my style necessarily. Fitted, unlined, double-breasted coat has shoulder pads, collar, neck band facings, lapels, front darts, side and back seams, flaps, side seam pockets, two-piece lined sleeves. So the sleeves are lined, so you can slip it in over your sweater or whatever. That's nice. And left lower front drape with shaped hem. And then this is purchased trim. But look at all of these beautiful darts. Take all that shaping through the waist. Even in the back, there's some beautiful ones. They have these little, I guess they're welt pockets. And then you can do it with the trim or without. Let's see what they recommend for fabrics. I can imagine with something drapier than this wool that they used, it could also completely change the look of the coat. So heavy wools, gabardine, and denim are all they're recommending here. Huh. And then fusible interfacing. I don't know. I feel like if you've got something slightly drapier, I mean, it still has to hold up to all that's going on up here, but like a little bit drapier, you know, it could hang closer to the body and not be so dramatic maybe. You have your 6 to 14 and then 14 to 22 sizing. You need a whole bunch of buttons, bias tape, shoulder pads, and then the grow grain ribbon for the bottom trim, this thing here. And then here's your yardage, lining for the sleeves, 
interfacing. Wow, a lot of it is interfaced, especially considering hardly any of it is lined. And then finished length only. See how this one's like just a lot drapier than what we're seeing on her? I guess that's kind of how I feel like it was intended to be, just like a lot drapier, but I don't know. Okay, now we've got a Rachel Comey coat and skirt. Okay, so it looks like collarless or maybe like a little band there. Something's happening here. Drop shoulder and a straight kind of like wide sleeve patch pockets. Skirt's cute with this little interesting waistband detail. Hard to see in this like plaid fabric that they've used. A uh, raglan sleeve. Okay, loose fitting unlined coat has lined patch pockets, bound seam allowances. That's nice. And a top stitch trim. No closures. Close, I'm sorry, loose fitting gorge skirt. I love a gorge skirt. Has raised waistline with side front slits. Okay, and facing top stitch in place. So this reminds me of the closet case. Isn't it, doesn't closet case have that jacket that's kind of like oversized? I mean, this is a very simple jacket. Like there's a few seams and a few darts and hardly any fitting associated with it at all. Here are the gores. I don't know what they meant by side front slits. Maybe that's what these little things are called. I would probably shorten the skirt because I don't love, you know, mid-calf length skirts on me. But double-sided fabrics. Double-sided? I guess that, I don't know why, it would have, why they would recommend double-sided. Medium weight denim and wool crepe. Oh, uh, double fold bias tape, invisible zipper for the skirt, alphanumeric sizing. You don't need a ton of fabric for the coat. <laughs> Ironically, more for the skirt than you do for the coat. Um, some interfacing, and then they give you lower edge width, back length in the coat, and back length in the skirt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we've got a Catherine Brin jacket and pants. That's a fun jacket. Pants are wild. I guess they're kind of like jeans, maybe. And I mean we'll have to look at line drawings. It's hard to tell if this is just the fabric or if some of this is a design element. Look at those pants. Wow, it's like working on the railroad. I've been working on the railroad um, with all that contrast top stitching. That's crazy. High waisted, too. Look how long that rise is. It actually looks like too long for her. I feel like, I mean, I can't say for sure, but I feel like her crotch is like somewhere around here. She also looks very unhappy about this outfit. The back looks nice. Her little tush looks good. Interesting. Okay, fitted jacket is unlined and has button trim with snap closures. Slightly flare pants have fly closure zipper, waist hook, waistband hook and bars, side slant pockets and back patch pockets with top stitching detail. Yeah, so the jacket's pretty straightforward. That fabric just made it look a lot crazier than it is. Um, it's cool though that they show you how to do like, uh, I guess kind of like faux buttons. 
and then snaps on the back. So you don't actually use the buttons to close it. I hope that makes sense. This is just nuts. I, I just don't know if that's very flattering. Sure does look comfortable though. I mean, even if you did it not in contrast, you know, if you did this to match the fabric would, I guess they'd be cuter. I don't know. I think maybe the fit on her is just off. And so that's what's giving me, like I'm getting not good vibes. <clears throat> okay, for the jacket, embroidered fabrics, novelty suiting, and crepe. I mean, this has got to be a denim, right? Right? I can't imagine that being, maybe it's novelty suiting that looks like jeans. I don't know. Okay. Three buttons, three snaps, hook and bars, and a zipper. And then your yardage for the jacket, interfacing, lining, pants, fabric, pants, interfacing, pants, lining. That's for the waistband. And then you just get your widths and lengths. That's it on the finished garment measurements. The sizing is the six to 14, 14 to 22. So, okay. Oh, this looks chic. All right, we've got a top and pants. Very cool top with these I guess they're like patch pockets. I can't remember. Just maybe like pleated with a flap. Then this zipper, kind of like a Henley with like this oversized funnel collar situation. Raglan sleeve. Pretty fit along the back. Um, it's not too oversized through here. I don't like raglan sleeves when there's so much bunching right here. And the pants come with a pattern, but they didn't really show the pants that much. They certainly didn't show the waistband. This looks nice. And that looks great. Let's see what the waistband looks like. Very loose fitting top has zippered collar, pleated underlay, and top stitching details. Pants have elasticized back and side seam pockets. Pleated patch pockets with flaps and side seam zippers. This it would be so cute in so many different fabrics. Everything from like French terry and sweatshirting all the way up to like, you know, something fancier like a some kind of uh, boucle or something I could see it in. Here's an alternate version of that jacket that's just longer with side zippers. That's also kind of cool but I really like the pleated pockets. And then here's the pants. So I don't hate these pants at all. If I were in a store, I would for sure try these on. The elasticized back makes it about a gajillion times easier for me to fit pants. It's just, I don't really have to worry about the waist fitting at all. I just have to worry about crotch length, crotch depth, width in the hips. You know, I know that's a long list, but it's a lot shorter than if I were also considering the waistband. Um, it does have these front darts, which is also a nice element. But I don't, I like this. I like this a lot. This is going to get added to my wish list. If I'm, I don't think I'm logged in. No, I'm not logged in. I'll go back and do it after the video. But um, yeah, this is cute and fun and fashion-y and different, you know. I do wish they showed us the um, waistband though, but what can you do? Okay, did we do yardage yet? Uh, medium weight wools, fleece, and flannel. Yeah, so this is like, you know, wool suiting. And then they're saying fleeces and flannels for this. But like I said, I could see it made out of a bunch of different stuff. Maybe I'd start with a sweatshirt fleece. I love it. All right, uh, alphanumeric sizing, you need zippers and elastic. Only half inch elastic. 
So that's a very narrow waistband. Obviously, you could easily, you know, make it a little bit wider. But and then for the cropped jacket, you need less than two yards for the most part. Um, less than two and a half across the board. The longer one, you need less than two and a quarter. Uh, you need some interfacing and it's partially lined. I wonder what's lined. Oh, the pockets maybe? Because you don't need a lot of it. Um, okay, and then the pants, here are the pants with some interfacing and lining and just lengthen with measurement, final garment measurements. Cute, I like that one. Here we go, a Palco Peralta jumpsuit. Whoa, stunning. I love the contrast trim. I'm thinking it's flat bias, but you could also put in, um, oh shoot, my brain's not working again. Uh, cording, you know, that's wrapped in fabric. I cannot remember what that's called. Oh Lord. Not the best coloring on her. It's kind of all a little flesh toned, but what can you do? She's just got kind of a RBF going, doesn't she? Hardcore lady. Beautiful. This is a little questionable, but you know, everyone has different little tushies, but look how long those darts are. I really like that. Pretty. Jumpsuit is fitted through bodice with flared pants, contrast insets, and center back invisible zipper. So you could do this in something else if you wanted. Line bodice and then separate cup sizes. This is a great little jumpsuit, you guys. So yeah, I love the contrast. Um, what do they call it? They called it contrast insets, which I think are just flat piping. Piping, that's the word. Okay, yeah, I know you guys are screaming at me. Sorry. Um, so yeah, no darts in the front, but just a single long dart in the back. I like this a lot. Crepe, Silk de Peony. I don't know about that. Ponty knit. Sure, yeah, definitely. I could see it in that. And then for your piping, you could do Charmeuse or Shantong or really anything. And then, of course, they would recommend China silk lining, but obviously you can use whatever you want. Um, just one invisible zipper and a hook and eye. They have the numeric sizing. It doesn't take, I mean, three yards for a jumpsuit. That's great. Your little one and a half yards for all the bias piping. Some interfacing, some lining, and that's it. Very nice. This will be going to the wish list as well. All right, here's another Rachel Comey. This is also another jumpsuit. This one's kind of like a wrap jumpsuit. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. It has a little like um, drop shoulder thing happening. This little belt. Yeah, she's got her hands in her pockets, so I can't tell. I think they're slanted slash pockets. This is also concerning me slightly, how it's gaping here, but I'm going to try and not notice that. Okay, well, hard to not notice that in this photo. I don't know if they needed an extra belt hole thing or what, but the back is nice. Fits her really well. Okay, semi-fitted jumpsuit, close fitting through bust, has mock wrap detail, side slant pockets, and squared off armholes with self belt. Oh, squared off armholes. That's kind of cool. So yeah, I mean, I would definitely be muslining this if I were making it. This little princess scene becomes the pocket there's a lot of intricacy going on here that would be hard to adjust in your fashion fabric heck it might even be hard to adjust on a muslin i don't even know but i would want to you know triple check this situation that's happening here um 
And, you know, if you even wanted to bring the wrap around this way, oh, hello, um, around higher before it attaches to the belt, you know, you would try and do all of that beforehand. I don't know, though. That's like a lot of work. I can't wait to see some people make this, though. All right. Medium weight cotton blends, crepe, or denim. This is a crepe that they've used. An invisible zipper, a covered buckle with prong, metal eyelets, and seven packages of double fold bias tape. My word. Is that because all of the seams on the inside are covered? I don't know. Alphanumeric sizing, about three yards to make the jumpsuit. And then width and length from the waist. It's cute though. It's very cute. Okay. Next, oh my word. Okay, we're gonna ignore fabric choice, okay? We're just not even gonna see this crushed velvet. We're gonna see like a really chic gabardine or something. Um, okay, this is a close fitting top and dress that has front pleats, drapes with gathers at sides, long sleeves and hem variations. Just wow. Okay. I mean, it's giving me 80s prom, you know, especially with how this, like, these gathers coming so low on the hip is very 80s with the ruching and everything. If you made this smaller, like half the size, and it hit you up here, where that's where your skirt started, maybe it would be a little bit more modern. I don't not like it, but well, it looks really good on her. Um, like if I saw, if I went to a party and I saw someone walk in in this, I would be like, if I saw this girl walk in, even in her blue crush velvet, I would be like, what would I be like? <laughs> I'd either be like, she got her dress at Goodwill or that's so cool. It's going to be one end of the spectrum or the other. Let's see what the line drawings. Oh, look, you can make the top without the little skirt in the bottom. You can also make the skirt like a little wrap, you know. Oh, and there's pants. Why aren't they showing us any of that? But look at these pants. They're literally two pattern pieces. No waistband, no darts. Let's look at the fabric recommendations for this. All for stretch knits. Okay, so they're wanting you to make knit, no oh gosh, knit pants with no waistband. So basically, hip huggers that flare out at the bottom. I'm assuming they kept it really slim through here because the intention is you would wear this over this. And I just cannot imagine that. Like a tunic length this over this I don't know guys okay well zipper and elastic so there is elastic in this waistband it's just within the facing I guess I mean I guess I know I've definitely seen pants like that, maybe even owned some pants like that in my younger years. And then here's your fabric requirements for everything. Oh, so that, her skirt is this. I couldn't tell. Um, yeah, here's the little crossover part. Okay, I thought it was all one. All right, well, 
There you have it. Oh, look, hip measurement. Wow, okay. I just can't tell if it's like super chic, you know, or gaudy, tacky. It does, like I said, fit her really well. <laughs> All right, here is a cute little custom fit dress that applies to the bust. They um, give you separate cup sizes for your different bust sizes. Love this little sleeve detail. This is very on trend. Even the little neck line is trendy, but wearable, you know? And then you've got these, like, I guess those are French darts. But you've also got one here, which I've never seen one in a skirt before. That's fun. Oh, and a little V neck. Oh, and then this. So I guess they just rotated what would normally be darts here. They just rotated them out into here, I guess. Close fitting lined dress with interfaced bodice. Wow. Has stitched down darts, shaped neckline, and back invisible zipper. Pleated cap sleeve attached to sleeveless armhole. I don't even know what that means. Reverse side of fabric will show for sleeve. B it has a long aligned long sleeve. No provisions provided. Okay. Why don't they show A and B on the cover? I don't get that. But look how cool these darts are. Oh, there's only one. Is that a mistake? That's a mistake, right? There's supposed to be two just like this one. They just left one off, right? Does she have two? Oh, I can't tell. Why would they only put one? She has two darts, right? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there is only one. Okay, stretch wovens, like cotton sateen, for example, wool crepe and ponty knit. Yeah, this would be great in ponty for sure. Uh, 22 inch invisible zipper. And then the short sleeve version, wow, yeah, less than one and a half yards of fabric. And then your lining, and then this is the long sleeve version. And then they give you your finished bust line measurements and then width and length. Very chic. Okay, here's something fun. Mrs. Dress, is this a rib knit? Dresses have long sleeves with cuffs, front pleats, back darts, collar, back zipper closure, and skirt variations, wow. Okay, so we've got like little turtleneck situations. This looks like a pleat. Drop shoulder with this huge sleeve and a cuff, and then this kind of like A-line skirt. Maybe some shoulder darts as well. Okay, let's look at the variation. So you have a slimmer like pencil skirt, and then you have your A-line skirt. Okay, so just two variations. Okay. It could also be really cute sleeveless, you know, with the turtleneck and stuff. Okay, crepe, rayon chalet, novelty shears, and jersey. Yeah, after I was looking at this version, it looked like one of those striped satins. I don't, I, I'm kind of indifferent about it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. One zipper and seven snaps. Is that for the sleeve? I guess, yeah. There's a whole bunch of snaps in here. 
three on each sleeve and then one at the top of here maybe or maybe there's two seven uh, I don't know maybe there's some in this little collar thing I kind of like that it's not super fitted you know it's definitely like close fitting but through here she has a lot of ease in her waist and even in her bust so that's kind of cool all right here's your yardage sizing is the numerical sizing a little bit of interfacing I think probably for the collar and cuffs and then width and length finished garment measurements only You have to be real careful on fabric choice on this one because it is high neck, full sleeve, and below your knee. I mean, this is a large block of fabric. So I think a print would probably be very overwhelming on most figures. I mean, unless you're like six feet tall. So the fact that they chose something that had like texturally some interest, but, you know, all over kind of the same color was really smart. That's what I would recommend for anybody going to make this. Okay, a Today's Fit by Sandra Betsina, Mrs. Dress, with all of this stuff. So what do we have here? I think all of these are individual pieces. That's kind of interesting. Oh, yeah, look, how, look at that one. That's cool. And then your long sleeve and a V-neck or crew neck okay and then there's I don't know the purple version has like a band on the bottom so there's that how fun would it be to cut this one out I guess this is just like top stitched over the seams oh and it's this shape I don't love this shape. You guys know why. I mean, I don't need any more volume here. I mean, you can't really tell. It just kind of folds in on itself. All this is cool, though. It sure would be fun to put together. Okay, stretch knits and with like medium weight and ponte. And then you need some steam -a seam. That's interesting. Novelty trim. Stay tape. And then top stitching thread. All the sizes come in one. Sandra Bitsina does her own kind of sizing, which is why you have A through J. Okay, here's your yardage, finished bust line measurements. This is a very uh, inclusive pattern, all the way up to 53 inches finished, which is nice. Very cool. I like this. Okay. Ooh. Hello, Gucci. Mrs. Petite Jacket Dress and Skirt. Okay, this outfit is... Look how happy she is. Can't you tell a difference in this outfit and the other ones? This girl's a little fashion snob, I think. Um, okay, so what do we have? It looks like kind of like a jacket cardigan. Like a cardigan coat. You know what I mean? Because this is all very cardigan-esque, but this is all very jackety. And then you've got these patch pockets. You've got the ribbon trim detail. Look at these. This this is why, or this is how shoulder pads are supposed to look. A beautiful shape on her shoulder. And then there's also some buttons here, I think. <clears throat> Here's the shorter version, and we also get this skirt pattern with all these pleats. Would you look at that? Oh, there's a dress too. I missed that. I mean, this lady is taking over. Cute. Cute. 
I mean, definitely a little 80s working woman. Well, especially with that silk shirt. Jacket, dress, and skirt. So the shirt isn't included. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I mean, even with this gigantic pearl earring, they're definitely like Goldie Hawn, you know, like 1980s for sure. Wow, they took a lot of photos this day. That jacket is fabulous. Look at these, beautiful. Two-part sleeve. If I made this one, I would make it even shorter up to here. Pretty. Oh, no pleats in the back of the skirt, just in the front. Here are all of our versions. This is just such a cool outfit. I want this. Can I just buy the sample? <laughs> Okay, so jacket, dress, jacket, skirt, skirt, jacket, dress. Cool. Here are all the line drawings. I'm not going to go into any of the details. I feel like I called them out pretty well already. Back darts on slim dress. Thank you. All right, here's our yardage. Midweight tweed, wool flannel, gabardine. Yeah, depending. I mean, they're all going to vary depending on which version you're making. Like the skirt, this skirt you'd have to make in the gabardine, I guess. And then the tweed and the flannel would be dress and coat. And then a ton of notions, as you can imagine. Here's your yardage. I don't remember what number is what. A is the short jacket, B is the long jacket, C is the dress, and D is the skirt. Short jacket, long jacket, dress, and skirt. And then your widths and lengths on finished garment measurements. Cute, though. That's going to do really well for them, I think, especially that jacket. What did I call it? A card of coat. <laughs> Let's make that a thing, card of coat. All right, next up is Mrs. Tops. Cute. Fitted wrap top has pleats and tucks with ribbon and button closure, I think on the inside. Short sleeve with dart or a two-piece long sleeve. This is pretty. Ooh, so it's kind of like a peplum with this beautiful seaming in the back. And then like the asymmetrical like uh, handkerchief hem again. Well, I don't know about these pants. Oops. Very pretty open neckline that doesn't seem too low. Look how cute it looks in the drawing. This is actually a little bit um, ice skater. Maybe the skirt is what's giving me ice skater vibes. Oh, especially this one. But that looks nice. I'm also considering my little trick of, you know, adding like, I don't know, a foot or longer to this little skirt piece and then you have a dress. It's like magic. Okay, wool crepes, crepe back satin and ponty knits. Okay. Buttons and grow grain ribbon with a hook and eye. Numeric sizing up to 22. Here is the shorter one, I mean the short sleeve one and the long sleeve one. And then length finished garment measurements. Yeah, pretty straightforward. It's pretty. Okay, here's a Marcy Tilton. I think I could probably recognize Marcy Tilton without even seeing her name on the on the product at all. 
just because of all the different pattern matching and mixing and all of that fun stuff. Like iconic in that way. Okay, so this is loose fitting tops in two lengths have asymmetrical stitched hem, faced rolled up sleeve, faced collar in one with top. A is shorter length, contrast sleeves and side panels, and B is longer length, facing of sleeve shows. I don't really understand what they mean about that sleeve facing. Yeah, I mean, if eccentric is your style, like for sure, this is all, this is your, your thing. I don't particularly love it. Even this one that's kind of like plain, more plain. I don't know. I mean, I guess, I don't know. Maybe a little bit too oversized for my taste. Here's the line drawings. And then here's the yardage. So stretch knits, jersey, jersey across the board, <laughs> just different kinds of jerseys. Okay, alphanumeric sizing, no notions, very little fabric. Oh, wait, this is A, so you add all these together. Okay. B is more accurate of what um, the fabric requirement would be in all. And then the finished lengths. Okay. Here's something similar, but a little bit closer fitting. Ooh, fun. So this is a zipper. This whole thing is a zipper and it extends into the collar. How fun! Loose fitting top in two links has stand up collar separating exposed zipper from collar to lower edge of sleeve. That is so fun. But if you have annoying children or something and they start to unzip your top, your whole thing will come undone. <laughs> so maybe keep that in mind. Kind of a boxy shape. There it is zipped all the way up. Um, kind of a boxy shape. That's pretty. Set in sleeve. Cute. Look how fun. And then they have a longer length as well. Again, this will be great in sweatshirt fleece, in um, Ponty knit, wool jersey. Oh, sweatshirt fleece. Okay. And you need one really long zipper, alphanumeric sizing, and like hardly any fabric, less than half a yard. I mean, less than one and a half yards. Um, some interfacing, and then your useless finished garment measurements. <laughs> Cute, I like that one. Oh, wow. Okay, so here's Julio Cesar again with his um, appliques, this time on pants. Wow, that is impressive. Okay. Look how cool. It's, these are definitely like works of art. The way that these are constructed, the way that they are designed is very, very interesting. Very cool. I want to just jump to the um, line drawing so I can really see what's happening here. But okay, so it looks like we have a fr center front zipper elastic casing that goes like three quarters away around your body and then these little side pockets I mean maybe it's just me but would these not make like the chicest sweatpants you've ever seen if you did this out of sweatshirt fleece am I right I mean would that be like the coolest um like athleisure kind of I'm getting like an athletic kind of vibe from this and the you know elastic waist and then here's the other version, which they're only going to show you like the front half and back half, but together they make that flowery thing. Really cool. 
semi-fitted pants have center front zipper, partially elasticized waist, side slant pockets, and tapered legs. Instructions to embellish with yarn and patterns for contrast fabric appliques and trims. Embroidered fabrics, novelty suiting and crepe. You need elastic and invisible zipper and yarn. Numeric sizing. And then I'm actually surprised A and B are so different regarding fabric. They kind of look the same with just, oh, I guess, well, yeah. I mean, B takes a lot less fabric by like almost a yard. Huh. What am I missing? I don't know. They look the same length. I guess this one's just fuller. I don't know. Are you guys seeing it? Hmm. Anyways, uh, and then useless finished garment measurements. All right. Next up. Oh, is this almost the end? Oh, this is almost the end. Okay. Here are those wild pants that we saw a couple of patterns ago. I mean, cropped and flared, really? What are we supposed to do? Okay, so you've got your, um, I guess it's like a piping detail or at least a um, seaming detail, fly front, waistband, little yoke, same detail in the back. I mean, they do look really great on her. Yeah, I just not feeling it for my body type. I mean, look at all the curves it gives her and she probably doesn't naturally have a very curvy body. So I can imagine it would just be like, boom, boom, boom. It's like an hourglass just on your legs. Um, flared pants have fly front zipper, button, hook and bar closures, ribbon for waistband facing. Oh, that's kind of cool. Above ankle length for A and B has carriers. They had, didn't show us B in the pictures. That's A and then B. Oh, B is all the way, like not cropped, full floor length and then also with the carriers. Yeah, these are fun and funky, for sure. Stretch wovens, medium weight denim and gabardine. Hook and bars, Petersham ribbon and a zipper. Numeric sizing. Oh, that's cool. Across the board, same yardage. Interfacing. Oh, a hip line measurement. Thank you. Yeah, very fitted. Okay, now we've got, oh, look at this fun skirt. Okay, what do we have here? I mean, I get that plaids are like very fall, but it's hard to make heads or tails of what's happening. Oh, cool. This little flouncy part kind of starts at one leg and then wraps around, you know, it's only like three quarters of the body. Oh, there we go. That is a very beautiful plaid. That's cool and fun. I don't know where I'd wear that really, but fitted skirt has back zipper, front and back darts, flounce and narrow hem. Oh, and then you can do the flounce in a contrast fabric as well. Look at that. That could be fun in just like solid black, you know, just like an interesting black skirt. I kind of like it. Medium weight woolens, crepe back satin, and men's suiting. One zipper and a hook and eye, that's it. For notions, you have your numeric sizing. Oh my gosh, look at this. 
one yard of fabric. Oh, plus the contrast. Okay. I was like, how is that possible? And then B takes a little bit less because it's all in one. So I guess they can lay out the pattern pieces more economically. Another hip line measurement, but again, it's pretty fitted back length from waist. Yeah, it's pretty fitted through the hip. Cool. That's fun. I like that. That seems like just wild enough. You know what I mean? Like going out of the comfort zone a little bit, but not like as much as this. This feels like very much out of my comfort zone. Um, it's a Sandra Bettina again. It's the skirt. I mean, a lot of like nips and tucks and things. So that would be fun to sew. You know, like bustled kind of. Skirt has side seam pockets, self-faced yoke with elastic waistline, stitched pleat, and inside ties. Oh, inside ties. So it is like a bustle to create fullness. Has contrast yoke and ties. Well, this one seems like it would be just as much fun to construct as it would be to wear. Taffeta and Shantung. Or good or knits with good recovery. And you just need some elastic. Same size combinations as her last one. Here's your fabric requirements. Not that much considering that you have like a pretty full skirt. And then there's the back length. I think that if if maybe proportions are off with this, but I really love this, what's happening down here with the little ankle booty. I think that that is really chic. This feels like maybe it should be tucked in or it should be cropped or I don't know, something to help with the proportion up here. But it's cool. I mean, maybe it's not that wild. <laughs> Maybe it's not that far outside my comfort zone. Oh my goodness. So that's it. Just 20 patterns for fall. Do they not do a lookbook? Um, oh, here we go. What did you guys think? Um, I certainly saw some that were like absolute yeses. And then there were also some that were strong maybes like this coat for example I love a cropped coat that has volume so yeah a lot of really cool chic items that you as to be expected from Vogue uh, this one I think is going to fly off the shelves I just think that is such a fun take on a classic kind of like what they're suggesting here some really really pretty items let me know if you added anything to your wish list while watching this video. I think we still have McCall's fa Fall, uh, Butterick Fall, and Simplicity Fall, I think. Um, so stay tuned, and I'll be sure to get those on the channel as soon as they are live on the website. But until then, I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!